Hey, what's up guys? Synapse here. In this video, I want to show you my video game settings for when I stream World of Warcraft. A lot of people like to set their video game settings to ultra, but in this video, I want to show you graphic settings down a little bit on good or high instead of ultra might be better for streaming because OBS or XSplit or whatever streaming program you use has to compress all of that video information and send it out to Twitch. The less complex the scene is, in fact, the better the stream looks. It also depends a lot on what you're doing in the stream. You know, if you're playing PvP, it's all about the gameplay and it's about the competition and not so much how nice the flowers look or the trees or... So let's take a look at what my settings are for World of Warcraft. Right now I'm in windowed mode and I'll tell you what each one of these things does, at least the way I interpret it. And windowed mode full screen it allows me to like bring my mouse outside of the game window and that's really important for streaming because uh, I need to be able to interact with the chat I need to be able to like interact with the, uh, OBS and all the programs that I'm running right so you guys might have like a certain mode that you prefer to run it in I think Windows windowed mode is probably the best one so anti-aliasing this one here is gonna be a game changer for your FPS you can try some of the higher anti-aliasing what it's gonna do is it's gonna round out the edges anti-aliasing is gonna smooth that but it takes so much of your graphics card this one right here is a pretty good balance of CPU and quality CMAA I think it's very well optimized a little bit better than FXAA so you can test it for yourself I'm not using the highest quality settings here so you could go even higher if you're comfortable but I think you're gonna get a little bit more FPS and your streams gonna look a little clearer if you don't go full ball to the wall ultra so the texture resolution, this one is really important for me because World of Warcraft textures are pretty low as it is. I think this one should be on high because WoW textures are like small. Uh, if you ever go into WoW Model Viewer, you can see how small they actually are. So this one here, if you're going to sacrifice any FPS on anything, I think this one should be the one. Texture filter filtering, I kind of go in between. I think I use a little bit of balance. 4X is pretty good. Uh, projected textures, this one I have enabled. I can't really tell, at least not in this scene. View distance, I like to set this one to high. I like this for PvP. All right, I need to be able to see the enemies out in the distance. Super important. Uh, environment detail, I bring this one down. So as you're walking through the environment, objects will just appear as you're walking and that kind of helps not to use too many resources. Objects in the environment take up a lot of frame rate because there's so many objects in World of Warcraft. They're everywhere. Anything from candles to mugs to books to flowers. If you bring this, that one down, that's going to significantly improve your frame rate. And for me, I don't really care about seeing all of that stuff all the time, especially if I'm in PvP. Uh, I don't want all that stuff distracting me very much. The ground clutter, I definitely turn this one down. I could probably even go down to low and be happy with it. And it's just like rocks and little things that are on the ground, especially when you're around grass. Uh, there's lots of little pieces of grass as you walk by. And it's more edges that adds to OBS's compression, whether you're using XSplit, OBS, Wirecast, doesn't matter. Edges like trees, leaves, and grass just kill the compression. Who cares? I want some more FPS to own some noobs. I only want a little bit of shadows so the world looks good. I don't want too many. Liquid detail, do I want procedural rip ripples and full reflection? Well, maybe it would be good to turn that up if we're doing like some cutscenes, but just for normal day-to-day -day stuff, I would say you could probably even turn that lower. Sun shafts are pretty cool. It's like lens flares. I think those are pretty badass, but I have them set to low. Particle density, I like this one. This one is, these are beautiful. Particles in WoW, I'm willing to sacrifice some FPS for a little bit of epic particle action. Everything in WoW is particles from the fire to the spells to the smoke. So you definitely want this particle density up just for uh, situational awareness, but also because the game is beautiful. I say if you're going to waste any FPS, let it be on all the beautiful particles. I like to use ambient occlusion in my Cinema 4D renders. I do not like ambient occlusion in video games most of the time because it is a CPU and GPU hog. Ambient occlusion is hard, and all it does is it calculates shadows in corners. A good example would be like right here and right here. Those are the corners. If I turn it off, you could probably even see those shadows disappear. Did you see that? Did you see those little tiny shadows? Like, look right here on this crack. When I turn it on, I'll turn it low. I'll turn it high, actually. 
and you see a little bit of darkening in the cracks of all this stuff. Is that going to really improve your game? No, it's not. It's just going to take up all your FPS, so just turn it off. Or just turn it really low. Depth effect, I keep them at high. Those are, again, the really beautiful part of uh, particles and WoW. The lighting quality, I have that as high. I think the lights are good. And the other part, finally, triple bu buffering, I disable it. Reduce input lag, disabled. So I really don't think the input lag of my computer right now is a big deal. So I disable that to get a few extra FPS. Uh, hardware cursor, MSAA. This is a multi-sample multi anti-aliasing. I'm pretty happy the way uh, anti-aliasing is right now. I don't want to add any, any more to it. So I just leave that as it is. Uh, the alpha test. Didn't really notice turning it on or off. So it's enabled by default. Uh, so we'll have to look that up a little bit more and do some more experiments with it. Post-process AA. This one matches... Uh, the anti-aliasing that we have set under the graphic settings and resample quality by linear is a little bit faster I believe so you see by linear being used by default most of the time and the newest version of DirectX is always going to be more optimized it's definitely the one we want to use for the foreground and background FPS I don't put a cap on the foreground FPS all right I want all the frames that that we can get if your graphics card is getting hot or something you can cap it and there's nothing wrong with capping. You cap it like 120, that'd be fine. I mean, is there really a good reason for me to get be getting 300 FPS in Arena? But it's fine with me, obviously. I have it unchecked. So I'm going for as many frames as possible. And uh, max background FPS. This one I cap at 30 FPS because I like to move out of World of Warcraft and go onto different screens. Like maybe I want to bring a... Uh, we want to watch a YouTube video or something on the stream. Or maybe I uh, leave the game so I can show the stream something. And I don't want the game like taking up all the CPU and stuff. I just let it chill out at 30 FPS in the background. That saves a lot of CPU. You'll notice your CPU goes down once you click out of this window. So up to you. I'm stream I'm going at high. And that's a little bit going against my philosophy of providing too much graphics detail while streaming. I could go down to good. You guys probably wouldn't notice. I wouldn't notice. I'd get more FPS. The stream would look crisper. We would own more noobs. It would be fine to go down there. But I'm trying to find a balance between just good settings and ultra settings. And I'm resisting the temptation to pull this slider over to ultra. Spam time says, uh, can you explain the resample quality? Okay, resampling is scaling. Like if you scale things up or scale it down, if you had a 1080 image and you wanted to resample it to 720, you want to take a large image and you want to shrink it smaller, there's algorithms that are used to scale... And so there's a lot of resizing in games because the games have to match our monitor. I don't think anything's being resampled here because I have a 1080 monitor and I have the resolution set to 1080. So if you had a 1080 monitor and your resolution was set to something else, then there would be resampling or whatever. Bilinear seems to be the most common one that we use all the time. Jervin says, can you repeat everything you just said? No, I'm actually recording it. So you can play it on loop if you want because of what fucking Jervin. Because he just wants me to repeat the entire thing. They're going to upload it to YouTube. And just, if somebody wants to repeat it, I'll just, I'm going to link it from now on. Lol. That's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. Please like it and let me know in the comments what you think and what your settings are. Stop by the live stream so you can see the quality for yourself. All right, guys, good luck and have fun.